we have our modern day classics. Welcome to Nebula Carol Films. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows to watch right now in 2023. For this list, we're looking for the greatest TV shows that have so far aired in 2023. The shows in question could have begun before 2023, as long as they are aired in the current year. Hey, I know him. Yeah, yeah you're not really captured some of your best qualities here. We will only be including scripted shows, so reality TV, talk shows, and animation will not be included. I think you'll find that there is a lot more of him in you than you realize. Number 10, Poker Face. Hey, we're having an emergency down at the Deerfield Motel. Can you please put me through to the police station? No, no cops. No cops. Peacock's flagship series, Poker Face, transported audiences to the fictional Frost Casino in Nevada for classic murder mystery, crime, and comedy drama, and more 70s references than you can shake a stick at. The Ryan Johnson series gained an instant following and quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Hi, man. It also manages to reinvigorate several acting careers and picked up several accolades on the way, including four Emmy nominations and won Television Critics Association Awards. With its wonderful cast and a story that feels both new and familiar at the same time, it's a show that consistently provides just about the most fun you can have in front of a TV. And there is just Number 9, Bel Air. Bel Air is enormously influential. It emerges as Peacock's most streamed original series to date. I read the report. Report? I asked Jeffrey to look into my father and Uncle Phil. Wasn't too happy about it. Where you want? Is that why Jeffrey left? Bel Air is a hit in its own right and a reboot of the original TV series, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, in the 1990s, garnering years of pent up excitement. Yo, Jazz, can you put Hillary on the phone? Uh,. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Why, why would I be with Hillary? Not only does Bel Air translate respect from the original series, it also contains an incredible cast of characters who keeps us entertained on a new weekly basis. Not only do you think about Will's incredible journey or his father visiting him for the first time to start feeling engulfed in the story. That's why I'm trying to start over and rebuild what we had. You know? It is now in its second season and we cannot wait until the third one starts. Number 8. Citadel. Because, believe it or not, we're old friends. When it comes to event television, few shows can compare to Citadel. This show has bridged the gap between television and film as it contains a stellar cast and one of the greatest production values ever seen on TV. <laughs> Citadel told a highly complex and intriguing story full of twists and shocking developments, and it was fascinating to watch its popularity rise throughout episodes. Interest in the show slowly began to rise, until it became a show to look out for every week, breaking all sorts of viewership records, launching careers, and promoting endless discussions on forums and social media sites. It certainly provided us with weeks of peak TV. Number 7. Beef this show has got to be one of the most unique series ever shown on TV. It explores many funny and tense themes involving their interactions. What is your prop? What? And it certainly isn't afraid to mime the absolute depth of human stubbornness and determination. Where you at? That said, it also finds time for contentment and tranquility. And its brilliant finale remains one of the most beautiful and soul-soothing episodes ever aired on TV. Number 6. The Walking Dead City On the surface, The Walking Dead City follows Maggie and Negan's travel into the post-apocalyptic Manhattan. Luckily, the producers of this show are virtuosos and turn this spin-off series into a massive hit. Jenny, this here is Maggie. See, Maggie and I are... Old acquaintances. The Walking Dead City uses New York as a microcosm to explore greater and further themes, and it is an absolute masterclass in character development. But what I don't get is after all these years, you still think I'm the bad guy. I'm not. No one is. It uses a post-apocalyptic setting to tell a story of how people are in modern times, and it does this in a highly entertaining and stylish fashion. Number 5. Ahsoka. Welcome, child of Dathomir. You do our ancestors credit. Thank you, Great Mother. 
the hype was high for Ahsoka. Many fans came from watching The Mandalorian and they were not disappointed. No. He was trained as a Jedi. You, I trained to be something more. The series follow former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano investigated an emergency threat to a vulnerable galaxy. The subject matter made for engaged viewing as it interestingly delves into the complexity of the fall of the Empire and those who stick around will be infinitely rewarded with some of the best acting and writing in television's history. Our way of approach is Peridia. Destroyed with prejudice. It is a masterpiece in every sense of the word, even if it's not for everyone. Number four, Succession. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, uh, but gotta let them do their thing, but yeah. Here we have a comedy family drama, and it follows aging patriarch Logan Roy contemplating what the future holds for his business. It would be great to get your take. You know, hopefully it won't come to that, but in the end... The show shares a lot in common with Empire, as it contains the similar themes and the tones. It's also packed with incredible actors, including Emmy-winning performances from Jeremy Strong and Brian Cox. It comes highly recommended. What? No, no, I can wait. What else? Number 3. Happy Valley Typically regarded as one of the best shows ever made, if not the best, Happy Valley is arguably the most ambitious show ever created. And what about me? I need protection because if he gets out, he's coming for me. You need to find out what sort of escort he's got and whatever it is, they need to triple it. Happy Valley consistently saw at lofty heights. The series follows Catherine Kay with a police sergeant in the West Yorkshire community of Calder Valley, also known as Happy Valley, for its high incidence of drug-related problems as she finds a way to avenge her own daughter's death. What do you think? Do you like it? Happy Valley has consistently garnered acclaim for its realism. It's a great British novel in TV form. Number 2. Foundation Now, if you want to talk entertaining, let's talk Foundation. This is easily one of the most well-written and title potted series this year. I do not accept the darkness as a foregone conclusion. I am here to prevent further violence. At the head of a fleet. You'd think the story was planned from the very beginning, as each action has a thrilling consequence, and the show remains fluid and natural throughout its entire run. I don't know where you've been hiding this, but it's nice to finally touch it. <laughs> it all culminates in the unbelievably thrilling and emotional creation myths, which some critics call one of the best episodes of the series. I am no brother to you. Your experiment is through. It also contains a slew of iconic characters, including Gail Dornick, Harry Seldon, Demerzel, Salvor, and Day. We've been chasing the high of Foundation since 2021, and nothing has come close. I'd even say Empire will fall, but not yet. Number one is one of my favorite shows ever, and it's one that changed the face of television forever. So, let's check out our notable series, and then we'll see our greatest TV show of 2023 so far. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Hey! You American guy! You know I speak English very good! What's cracking noob? Number 1. The Last of Us The Last of Us changed the way television was made, and it legitimized the medium as a serious art form. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. While prayer shows had garnered their share of acclaim and popularity, TV was always seen as a lesser medium. The Last of Us not only showed that TV could tell dark, complex, and richly dramatic stories, it single-handedly launched the golden age of TV dramas. Military drops bombs. Not one of them hits the building you're trying to demolish. Most people expected a traditional zombie story, and while it was that in some ways, it also serves as a dark and contemplative look at the human psyche under immense pressure. It's not too late. Even now, even after what you've done, we can still find a way. It's a masterpiece of television, and it has yet to be dethroned. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Nebula Films, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.